Good evening, my name is Kacper Paradowski and you're watching Poland Daily News. 20,000 Poles gathered in Warsaw today to defend the judiciary reform at a protest which took place in front of the Constitutional Tribunal in Warsaw. The participants of the Assembly demanded that the European Union respect Poland's sovereign right to reform its judiciary. The demonstration was organized by the Gazeta Polska clubs and the Sovereign Committee, headed by Adam Borowski, an opposition activist during the People's Republic of Poland and chairman of the Warsaw Club of Gazeta Polska. This is the beginning of the road. The law itself does not guarantee anything, of course. We must keep an eye on those who will be introducing it. Thousands of people gathered in front of the Constitutional Tribunal, including activists of the clubs of Gazeta Polska Weekly. We were expecting 15,000 people. It looks like there is a lot more. I don't think anyone anticipated this level of turnout. The demonstrators expressed their support for changes in the Polish judicial system. In turn, the vice president of the European Commission, Vera Jourova, has once again spoken out strongly about the amendment to the court laws, calling it the annihilation of independent judiciary. We are not afraid of these EU officials. Of course, this reform may not be perfect, but we need to adapt to the constitution that we have, the one created by the communists. It's good that something is beginning to change. In an ideal world, the judges would be elected, much like in the legislative branch. The Court of Justice of the European Union gave Poland time to explain the amendments to the court laws until February 13th. According to unofficial information, the European Commission is ready to introduce financial sanctions against Poland, given the Polish government fails to adopt the regulations to its expectations. During today's United Poland Convention held in Warsaw, the main topics of conversation were the judiciary reform and the defense of subsequent laws introduced by the current government. A proposal to change the justice system was presented by Deputy Minister Marcin Warho. Fair slash just Poland was the slogan of today's United Poland Convention. The public prosecutor general used the phrase extraordinary caste several times and reminded that the role of a judge is not to defend other judges, but to defend those who are the weakest, the victims and those who require support. <laughs> We will consistently defend the solutions which serve to cleanse the Polish justice system. We will defend the principle that everyone is equal before the law and we will defend the disciplinary chamber. During the convention, Deputy Minister of Justice Sebastian Kaleta took the floor, refuting allegations about the new regulations, which the opposition describes as the muzzle law. This bill saves the courts. This bill saves Polish democracy, the constitution and the rule of law. Proposals for changes in the administration of justice were presented during the convention by Marcin Warho. We are proposing a change in the form of flattening this structure, the liquidation of this inflated court structure. We also propose to introduce two instances. The injustice member of the European Parliament, Patryk Jaki, also appeared on the stage in Warsaw. We are currently in a historical moment as the judges' coup against our country is underway. This is an absolutely unique situation. If we cannot withstand this, then the situation in Poland will only get worse. Civic Platform candidate for the President of Poland, Małgorzata Kidawa-Błońska, gave a speech during the convention of the Civic Platform State National Council. Despite the presence of the new leader of this party, Boris Budka, the deputy marshal of the same was the most important person during the convention. We are a European party. Our party is tolerant and open. We want to present the program of our party that is also rational. It is very important because in today's crazy world there is a lack of rationality. We have to clearly defend our values and be brave on the one hand, but on the other we have to be humble. We can't compare the Civic Platform Party to Fresh Air. The Civic Platform Party has to be a chance for a better life and a better Poland. I have the impression that our houses are frowsy, and we have to vent our houses and rebuild everything there. 
According to Pope Francis, gender ideology is one of the main manifestations of evil in today's world. The Pope touched on this subject in an interview about Pope John Paul II, which is to be published next week in Italian bookstores. The Italian press has published further fragments of the interview. The gender ideology is one of the main manifestations of evil in today's world. It is an attack on diversity, God's creativity, and man and woman. Getting rid of our differences won't bring us all closer together. We have to accept another human's otherness, we have to discover the value of it. On the other hand, gender is an ideology that some people want to impose on reality in a very deceitful way. By this ideology, they are trying to destroy the foundation of humanity in every single environment and on every level of education. Gender ideology becomes a cultural dictator, which some countries call the only possible way to culture to which we all must adapt. The president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, has aided Poland by helping to evacuate four Polish citizens from the coronavirus-stricken Chinese city Wuhan. A Brazilian Air Force plane landed in Warsaw to drop the four Poles off, after which it continued its journey from Wuhan to Brazil. A total of 34 Brazilians will be quarantined for 18 days after returning back home. Brazil has prepared a quarantine zone on the military airbase to house Brazilian nationals that have been evacuated from the Chinese city of Wuhan at the center of the new coronavirus outbreak. During a press conference before their arrival, the brigadier general in charge of the operation gave the details. We are also able to say that the President Bolsonaro has authorized the arrival of five non-Brazilian people to Warsaw, four Poles and one Chinese. The brigadier also revealed that Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro decided to help Poland evacuate four of their citizens. The people will get out of the planes and get into vehicles, buses, and will go to their rooms in the quarantine zone. The health ministry of the state of Goyas will do blood tests within the quarantine zone to check for the possibility of viruses. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro recently met in Brazil with the Polish Minister of Foreign Affairs Jacek Czaputowicz. After the meeting, he posted a message on social media saying that he will go on a state visit to Poland this year. Wuhan has been under virtual lockdown since January 23rd. Airlines around the world have stopped flights to parts of China as cases of the virus there soared. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for Poland Daily Business. Good night.